Hey, I'm Kathleen Gamer. Welcome back to PCM21 Career Mode, Episode 103. We're in the Tour de France. Last time we tried to get Narbutas going in the King of the Mountains, and it didn't come together. So here we are, trying again. <laughs> See how this time, how it goes. Uh, it's a chance. Rhea Bovis was the one that I wanted to get going, but I accidentally put Narbutas in the break instead, so Riobovas, who's hot up last five, would have been a perfect candidate for it today. He sits back in the peloton. We will, when the time comes, see if he's in position to try to go for it on this Cat 1, but at this time it's looking like Narbutas is going to have to try to get after some points today because it's a seven minute gap back to the peloton right a now with 10 riders up here and up six get pack. points over they the top of the cat one so our uh, butas Riobovis, so similar as riders i've mistaken them for each other many times well anyway it took a lot of effort to get our butas in the break but i did and he wasn't the right one to put in the break it was Riobovis. well anyway uh as we approach the climb, let's go ahead and get water one final time. 50k to go left in the, the stage. Galvez is getting it now. And here, uh, Narbutas just hanging on they towards the back really end of the group. You can see they the are really, really picking up the pace. And up. looks like Kaznafoa already struggling, might get dropped. He's very punchy, but he's not a very great regular climber in this kind of tempo. Uh, the longevity of it is going to do some damage to the back end of this. So Flores, Constantinfoa, and Kung are all struggling. Uh, that means Narbutas has a good chance of at least hanging on to one of the top positions. But Galvez, we're already well into the climb. And where are you, buddy? There you are. Apparently I should have sent you a few kilometers earlier. Anyway, back up here. This climb by itself should not do a ton of damage to these guys up front. There you go. He's getting the water task done now. He's still got to get up to uh, Isakov well, and Kurama, my, the guys up front aren't going to be making too many friends today. There's Galvez. Still has some energy. Should make it. I may have to kind of drop back with uh, Kurama and meet him in the middle, potentially. Galvez struggling to uh, find some space. Take him to the outside. Now he's got that space. Now he's able to make that little acceleration. And he's able to just about finish the task. There he goes. Okay. And back the riders with are in a portion above 10%. Use whatever energy he's got left. We are well, well up the climb now. Inside 5K to go. We're down to four riders that have now Some fallen off and are just struggling to keep up. But Narbutas looks like speed. he is likely to be number five in that. In fact, let's go ahead and back off with him now. He's not going to make it. But at 620... Uh, a number of these guys are not going to make it. One has dropped off, and Narbutas looks like he's going to be the second to fall off, and he is. Riobovis would be doing a little bit better. But attacking with a five-minute gap is not going to happen. So we're going to have to wait for the next one. Maybe wait for the final climb. Six riders riding off. Kostafo, Kung. See? Flores, that's the guys that were tired. The first four. Gegenhart somehow at the back end of the group. His 80 mountain rating. Valens, Polank, Polank starting to struggle. Adria, Van Wilder, Bokunoge, oh, push and tempo. There's the three group. strong climbers the there. I was hoping for about Some fourth place, but that did not breakaway. happen. And we now have a number of riders out the back. Isakov, one of our best guys, but he's on a minus four race day condition. We are now down to our four top contenders. <laughs> Guerrero riding where he likes to ride right to the back he's still got energy left but he is right to the back go ahead and support Gonzalez Albiol who needs to step up his effort a little bit and then uh, Riobovis go ahead and protect Karaman and Karaman there you go up your effort as well make sure these guys aren't falling off the back like that back together, but Gonzalez Albiol definitely needs to be moving forward. Acceleration by Duplass. 
Let's switch the order here. Guerrero. Gel. Three riders in a group of 14. We want to bring this thing back up into place. Our Butas me Miles already been dropped, so we don't need to worry about him. Ramen. Up your effort, please. Don't get dropped. Let these guys come to you. We have the descent coming soon. Kraman got dropped anyway? Really? 83 Mountain, you can't keep up with those 28 guys? Alright. Proper descent coming in a moment. We will accelerate then and catch up. And we're, we're going to be okay. These six, those four, they will get back on. Let's see, we're not far behind. Grauman, we're into in the recovery mode, section. as the he needs to be. A breather, but they can't let their guard drop. Falling behind! A team leader is falling behind! Gonzalez Albiol, a little worrying about how fatigued he is. He doesn't have very good resistance. Okay, we have linked up officially. It's now 10 chasing 29. And Martin Guerrero is going to keep on the pushing right towards the front. For it. It's clear as day. Switch the order of these two, based on fatigue. Darbutas, meanwhile, is riding with Kuznafla and Kung. Polank, Gagenhart, who got dropped, surprisingly. And they're on to the next climb. Darbutas will be brought back momentarily. And Martin Guerrero trying to pull this thing back up to this group. Come on, don't get us dropped again, Gonzalo Selvia. Stay in contact, stay in contact. This opportunity to attack. Wow, they are really pushing today, aren't they? Okay, back in contact. And easing his way forward even though he's out of energy. He's actually recovering a little remaining. bit, so the climb at the moment, not so bad. He's somehow able to get forward. We have 1k to go to the top of this thing. It'd be really nice if he's still in this, because we'll get that descent here in a little bit. And they're not that far away from Narbutas, but Narbutas... Agrero, go ahead and jump in the line. You've recovered a little bit. It'll give me a little something on this final climb. And actually, here's, here's what we're going to do. This is not, not a time to attack. This is time to conserve. Give me your 85s. And give me this some climb is protection. By many riders. The percentages are very high. Arputas, I was trying to give you recovery. I mean, you're just in front of this. But right around the corner. And off he and goes. here comes the first He's acceleration. But There's this is why we're set up for the 85. Left. 11.7k to go to the top. 6.5 is the average. You can see we're struggling a little bit on the 85, but just a little. There's Narbutas. Gel for him. Gonzalez Albiel's been dropped. He's out the back. Martin Guerrero's about to be dropped. He's about to go out the back. Arbutas, give me a momentary protection. And we will use the gel for Rehobovis. He will take over for Narbutas as he slips out the back. We're down to 30 riders in contention. And I have just two of and them. Rehobovis, they finally up into position. There you go. 8.5k to go. Karaman, not looking that great. But the steepest part about Watch to come out. to a an end. And then it's going to ease off for a little bit before you go into one more steep section before the finish. Venipole pushing. <sighs> yeah, these guys with their endless and energy. At the front. He could go all the way. How does a rider like a Venipole with a 77 rating push like that? Why? Because he's got 82 remaining. resistance. Never ending. Okay, Rehobovus is going to start to fade here really soon. We're down to 22. Grauman's still here. This is the flat sector, but 
we're seeing this huge, huge push, 5.6k. Okay, Karaman, we're gonna gel up now. I'm worried about us getting dropped here before the end of this stage. 4.6, and into the last steep bit. Coming up on the last of the breakaway riders. The above us is still here, but he is about to get dropped, and you can see this group is about to split about in half. 3.5, here goes Pagatcher. These guys are not able to attack, not able to go with it. There's Gagenhart coming back at him. 2.7 for Karaman, and we are blocked off from the front four. We are blocked from the front four. Go with Umin. Go with Umin. Leave this group. Uh, don't leave this group behind. Okay, apparently we can't. 2k to go. We have to just ride our tempo towards the finish, which does mean I'm leading this group of now four riders Whoa, as we come back at Umin. There's a Venipole, the way. rider who attacked earlier. 1k to go. Just trying to make up the best time we In can. End, I, like I said, I was worried win. that we were going to be a little bit short on this stage, and we are. are Adria, from the break. Bukunoge, Wellens. There's your top three. Berlikov, breakaway, catches Van Wilder from the break. So that's four riders from the break, finishing one, two, three, and five. Berlikov wins the climb in the contenders. Pagacha, Bernal were the next, and then a Venipole. Umin Karaman. We are 10th on the stage, and when you exclude four breakaway riders, that means we were 6th on the stage. Right there with Umin. Almost caught up to a Veta pole. That's pretty good, and tons of riders behind us. Could be better. Could be so much worse than it was. Berlikov catching up to those guys was 35 seconds down. That's a huge gain for him. Pagacha was 54 so he's about 20 seconds behind Bernal, another 10. And then a Venipol and Umin. I thought I was on Umin's wheel, but I really wasn't paying attention to the finish line uh, so much. I was looking more at the times as people were crossing. So I, I was out of energy, so I suppose that's the reason why I fell back a little bit. But at a minute 49, ahead of majority of contenders, this will establish a better position, and there it is. Pagacher into the lead, Berlikov up to second, Bernal is third. There's your podium, and at the end of this tour, there's your podium. There's your podium right there. There's the three best riders above and beyond everybody else. They could and should be the podium at the end of this race. Uman, a Venipole, surprising with a Venipole, but you know, I don't know. That 82 resistance goes a long ways. And if he's got a plus five, same with Uman, I should be able to beat both of them. But we are facing some additional challenges, obviously. Sixth, fairly good place to be right now. We are in the top 10 now. Things are established. We're outside of the top five, but only by 10 seconds. And when you look at the time trialing, a Venipole, of course, is amazing. Uman, not so much. We can catch up to him. I don't suspect we'll be able to catch the top three, though, because I think they'll climb their way to a comfortable gap. But behind us, not really any challengers. So the good news is Avedipol and I should be able to round out the top five behind those three. I should be able to overtake Uman before the end of this, meaning I could be on my way to a top five. If Avedipol doesn't get plus fives day by day, I might just be able to get ahead of him before we hit the big time trial and therefore maybe just maybe see myself into fourth place i think considering that we're writing for karaman and that he is no berlikov it's not bad it's not bad and so i'm conceding defeat way earlier uh, than i expected to i always figured that going for the king of the mountains was going to be difficult uh, as igashin who just crashed moments ago is trying to return towards the front but he is doing it on now less energy and a minus four race day condition They're which is the You're main reason for on. conceding defeat it's already stage 10 there's already the likes of Gegenhart, Bardet, Bokunoge really really strong climbers guys with 80 plus mountain ratings and punchy ratings to go with it and just strong punchers, period, guys, in the low mid-80s. 
that are all going for the King of the Mountains classification. Meanwhile, I picked a guy who was a 75-73 the riders are going, going very tough course sure, if we pick up a bunch of points early on and, and get a head start, you know, as those contenders fall off and start going for things, we can, you know, pick up on it, uh, benefit from it, and, and do something. Yeah, no, no, that was very naive. Uh, we picked up five points, and then today happened. Today is a difficult the stage. Four no climbs. Three in a row in the early stage, and then one massive climb later on. But you could already see Galvez, Igashin are going to struggle just to get through this first climb, let alone four climbs. And nobody's out the back right now in the peloton, but you know, guys like Igashin here, uh, who now needs to go into survival mode, he's going to start slipping back again, but hopefully makes it through this first climb and can recover. We still have 3k to go to the top. But to look by the today, but I already see sucks. The a breakaway, As a team, the I'm expected uh, plus 9. The are I've got... High. Oh gosh, no, it's more than that. I've got 3 plus 3s, a plus 2 and a plus 1, and I think a minus 1 on the expected. So, uh, plus 11? is the expected race day condition for the, the squad. Now, you know, uh, we've done the math before where you're never going to quite live up to that. The closer you get to below or above the threshold of, you know, what is zero uh, and the way that bell curve works, there's only so much space one direction versus another direction. The top, the and, and therefore, the you're and you're going to have a situation. Town. And Igishin, let's go ahead and get water. That's that's your use now that you've crashed. You're still right at the back. But, oh man, this thing is stretched so thin. And you're still just cruising. You know, the range is always going to be a little bit below. If you're expected plus 11, eh, you might as well write that off as a plus 10. But we're not talking about a massive difference, right? Plus 10. We should have something like a plus 10 today. We have a minus 1 as a team. That is a terrible, terrible team draw. Uh, and, you know, beautiful conditions, so the weather has absolutely nothing to do with it. So Igashin struggling to bring water up. Galvez already gone, exhausted, and he's going back to get water himself. Uh, Riabovis is going to get water himself so these guys are are suddenly all into the task of getting water which means one by one they're they're dropping back uh isakov no 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 you stay stay up here there's igashin there's Re isakov's they water really at least are moving. the pack can't get strung out too far or it's going to start breaking up it's in such percentages that the strongest can create on, some buddy. gaps you can do it get up there get up there Oh man. Uh, Gonzalez Albiol, is he going for water? Yes, he is. Quit that. You got your water. Uh, Narbutas. Okay. We got water. We got water. We got water. Martin Guerrero is going to be the last one. He'll drop back here in a moment. In fact, let's just. <laughs> Yeah, drop Martin Guerrero back. That that sounds great, right? There. Okay, we got it. We got it. We got it. Recover. Recover. Now, Galvez. See you later. Rebovis coming with water a second time, but let him just come forward the with it. Is not to everybody's liking. The He's has gonna try to recover his position speed. anyway. It'd be really nice if Igashin survives the next 2k and can recover a little bit and at least give us a little protection over the next climb. But Galvez is now long gone. Uh, the breakaway, 12 minutes ahead. They're, they're gaining significant time. Uh, anyway, back on the original point. It was very naive to believe that we could compete for the KOM in the first place. The riders must but be careful. when you this throw in be very dangerous. a terrible race day condition draw like this on a difficult stage, it's all hands on deck. We, we need to survive. And today was 
probably our best shot at picking up significant points in the King of the Mountains to even just have any sort of chance at it. And by any sort of chance, I mean, you know, get blown out by the main contenders and, and maybe finish fifth or sixth. So that quest is gone. Now we are in a full, of teams have set themselves up full as Karam and support they mode now for the, the remainder right of this group. race. This no longer worried about the KOM. Percentages. Let's just get through these stages. For this one, we're now halfway through the day, but it's the easier half. Cat 1, Cat 2. Next up is Cat 1, False Cat. So, yeah. Difficult ask. Uh, Igishin hanging on, but... He survived that cat too, and he got a little really recovery, hot, so for the moment, we but this see next climb attacks. already doing some damage. Igishin, if he keeps slipping back, he might. It's a pretty long descent uh, after this climb that, you know, if you're not dropped, you've got a decent chance of getting a certain amount of recovery to at least survive the valley. Maybe not the final climb so much, but that could still be really useful. But you can see Igishin, he's right on the verge. He's right at the back, and he is out of energy. He's Some dropped. All right, mustn't set him to auto. Everybody else looks like they should make speed. it. We've got 4K to go. Uh, yeah, everybody's good. Everybody's good from here. From now on in. And at this stage, I'm the not worried about any of these guys the on their effort level. Uh, we're, you know, mid this cup's furthest back. Yes, yes, he is. So yeah, we're fine on the position. We're conserving some energy here. We've got a peloton of 110 as we go over the top of climb number three on the day. What massive climb to come? So but it's noses downhill, six riders, the riders and I should have mostly fully recovered. But Riabovas is a little worried at the moment how far back they are. They could lose contact the here over the course of the descent. At the moment, the they have. The rear, as more of them are left in the wake back together for now though Just start working their way forward and they're really not doing that very well on this descent recovery is important though uh, we do need water who is here with him Riobovis okay 93k to go but they need water now not later it's a long stage so Riobovis to get water hopefully he does not get dropped meanwhile hopefully Iskov does not get dropped this thing is yo-yoing a lot. Things could change real quick. But the the steepest part of the descent is over. We have full recovery, though Riabovis, Arbutas, a little more tired than the others. Uh, Karaman and Martin Guerrero, a little more fresh than the others. And Isakov still not coming forward. Occasionally blinking Somebody's red on an 80. The Thank goodness everyone else escaped unhurt. He needs to work to the, the front, seem to which he's not been doing very well. Uh, gap now inside 10 rate. minutes, Some but it's pretty big. Breakaway. Got a lot of ground to cover to get to that last climb. Here's the last little kind of fault flat, false flat, though there is some They're undulation the through the valley. The other side at a fair lick. Be able finally to get getting up here, back. and we will restructure how we're doing this thing. We've got Six riders left. We obviously want to protect. Well, that's an 81. That's a 78. That's a 77. So switch off, protect these guys. Things have yo yoed, it seems to have uh, allowed them to pick up kind of new positions on the road, new happy zones. I'm happy in this zone up here. Okay. All right. Igishin, four minutes back. Galvez, much further than that. There's those big negative race day conditions knocking them out. It would have been nice to have all eight for the final the climb. Is still growing. The breakaway is not to take everybody's what we can liking. Get. The peloton has significantly increased its speed. All right. Manually select these guys. We'll prepare for the climb here momentarily. 66k to go. We just got water. Uh, the descent is probably when we'll be getting water again, but that'll be more of an individual basis. I would imagine this is going to be a small group towards the finish. It's the Madeline, 26.4k, 6%, 2,000 meters of climb. It's a lot. A Very long climb. And now we prepare for the climb. We'll start at a 79. Hopefully that does not lead to us dropping back. 
Grumman already considered the middle? He still, he dropped back again. Why, why does he keep doing that? Is he Martin Guerrero? Martin Guerrero is the worst writer I've ever had for, for, for that. He's, he's like, he's like the Yates group. brothers. You want them at the front of the group at the pivotal time, and then you look and they're, they're at the very back. They love to hang out at the back. All right, so far, so good on the climb. The breakaway is not to everybody's liking. The peloton has significantly increased its speed. Fatigue starting to set in for these guys, even though there's still 19k to go, but that's already seven kilometers of climbing, a pretty steep seven kilometers. Uh, Riobovis tiring up the quickest, so we will gel up here soon, but as we're in a flatter section, kind of wait through this one. The pack the is beginning to cut the lead. Come, the pace is really a bit. hot. So for the moment, we finally under nine minutes, but attacks. that breakaway has held on to a pretty sizable gap. We got three guys in the no man's land in between us and the main group. I don't know how many are left in that main this group. This climb is feared by many riders. Gel the active. Are very high. We will get our butas going here soon. We're at 12k now. Okay, our butas. Let's go ahead and gel up for him. Uh, Rebovis is protecting Martin Guerrero, so that's okay, though he's actually our best alternative on the day, so Isakov will switch to Martin Guerrero when Rebovis fades, and Isakov is going to have to gel up here fairly soon, but we're hanging in there, under 10k now, 87 left in the group. Yeah, let's firm up our position a little bit. This thing is going to kick off. It hasn't already. And let's get you on Martin Guerrero now, because Riobovis is going to be fading. He is. Ooh, they want water now. I figured we would be fine over the top. Long, hard climb. 78 left. And you're seeing a big group here at the back that's about to get dropped. Look at that. Kromen. Kramen still will not go to the front. The we need to do so with 5k gaps. to go. Is this maybe where we really take control and do something? Far, My three guys, 4k. Get it down to a small group and then just let Kramen recover and stay with the group to the finish line but thin this thing out Gonzalez Elbiel start moving forward go ahead and protect and then as he comes through we'll pick him up 3.7 they're not going very hard and Karam has got plenty of energy we might as well burn through it and do something okay now that he's in position Go one, two, three, reset, go 85 because they're climbers and that's the fastest we can get them to go. Gel, gel. Should have used Gonzalez Albiol's already when I started this move. About 1k ago. Those two don't matter. And I don't think I need protection on the descent and it looks like we'll have Martin Guerrero anyway. If we can thin this thing out, you never know. We might catch somebody out. Oh, the list of those left behind goes on rising. Let's get those guys to auto real quick. All right. And 1K. There you go. Now we're set up because Adria attack is trying rider. to attack. And let's speed it up 300 meters. See if we can distance somebody before the top. We distanced five more. A few more than that, and we kept Adria close, so he couldn't escape and do something. Okay, 44 riders though. Sit on. Sit up, and go get water. The team trains are pulling the pack forward, although victory seems assured for the breakaway. Yeah, seven and a half minutes. That breakaway is absolutely claiming victory today. 19k to go. There, finally, we have water. And we will protect our man. 
10 kilometers and to the finish line. with full energy and two guys, I think we can help push towards Ball the finish the line. Apparently, uh, the leader is on the ground. Van Art, Pidcock, Bokunoge. I don't think any of them were still contenders. Van Art had a decent time, but I think he was outside of the main group. He lost time on one of the climbs previously. Maybe. Maybe not. 1.6, and we're down to 29. Watch 7k. Our Guerrero's already used his gel, and we're down inside 6k. Karaman will go ahead and gel up. This win is well okay, Gagenhart takes the stage. Tenacity. No surprise, told you he's gonna crush that King of the Mountains. Gino Mater right there with him. 2.5k to go. And that means it's full gas time for Martin Guerrero. Give me that lead out. We are fighting, it looks like, for third. No, there's still two more riders in between us. 1.8. Sprint for Martin Guerrero. And sprint for Karaman inside the final K. Karaman. Nice little effort there, but Matawe has claimed third. There's no time bonus here anyway. Pogacar still wins. Vlasov, Berlikov. Karaman, Berlokov beat us right there on our left in the under 25s jersey. Of course he did. We're waiting for the back markers who appear to be fairly numerous in this difficult race. Another successful stage, no time losses. It's good. Our hopes of a top five remain alive. Let's see if anybody lost out on time here momentarily. Wow, talk about a monumental mistake by UAE. Gegenhart, who won the stage by 5 minutes and 48 seconds, gains enough time to go from about 21st overall into second. And it absolutely has the quality, which of course Ineos was being led by Deplus, who's behind me in the standings. Gegenhart, Theo Gegenhart now in second place. Now we have four podium contenders, and my bid for a top five just got a whole lot harder. And it's UAE's fault. It's their job to manage the the gap, and they did not. They really let that thing get out. I mean, it was out to a good 12, 13 minutes. And they didn't work that hard to pull it back. We still had a fairly sizable group at the finish line, pretty much in cruise control. But of course, for them, they're kind of laughing at everybody else because where is Gagenhart placed? Yeah, second place behind them, in front of everybody else, but behind them. Now, to me, that's trouble because you're inviting a really good rider into contention again. So, stupid stupid on their part but they still have the jersey so it's it's like a two-faced situation but anyway sucks for us because turns out we did lose time to a key contender and otherwise completely irrelevant doesn't matter but yeah one guy getting well clear like that uh that hurts that does hurt our position our standing that is going to do it for this episode, though. I'm a Cathlon Gamer. Like, comment, subscribe. See you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.